Welcome to the Schomburg Township District Library. Today I'm going to show you how to register for events and attend them using Zoom. First, you will go to schomburglibrary.org. We are already there. And then come up here to events. And from events, you can choose either kids, teens, or adults. Today I'm going to choose all events, which includes all the kids, teens, and adult events. In here, you will find all sorts of events, including online activities, watch nows. The ones I'm looking for today is this one that says Schomburg Library Live. All of the ones that say Schomburg Library Live are events put on by the library. I can either register now, or if I click on Schomburg Library Live, Machu Picchu Lost Cities, it will open a new window, and I will see here it says this program will take place on Zoom. This is how I know it is going to use Zoom, which is why you're watching this video. And I can go ahead and click on register here. Once in here, I will go ahead and type in my information. And then I will go ahead and click on register. If you want to register additional people, you can add more people here. Otherwise, click on register. And it will go ahead and register you. About an hour before the program begins, you will get an email similar to this. If this is the first time that you have joined a Zoom program, please go ahead and click here at that time, not five minutes before, but just go ahead and click it right away. That way you can make sure you can actually install Zoom and get it all set up. So, and then your browser will open and it will ask you to either open Zoom if you have it installed. We're assuming that you don't have it installed yet. So you would click on download and run Zoom. There may be some steps afterwards where you have to register or you can join from your browser. After you have installed Zoom, in the future, you can click on the link about five minutes before the program starts and you'll get the same page. I will go ahead and click on Open Zoom this time. And this is an example of what a class would look like. It notes that I am currently muted, which is fine. And I will see the presenter in the upper right. That's John, he's one of our computer instructors you also see a screen of whatever they are sharing at the time. If there is no screen being shared, the instructor will actually end up taking the whole entire space. If you have a question during a meeting, click on participants, then click on raise hand. You will note that up here at the top, there's a blue hand noting that you are asking a question. The instructor will go ahead and unmute you when it is your turn to ask a question, and then they will remute you afterwards. And if the question gets answered before you have to ask your question, you can click on lower hand. If you decide to join from your browser, you'll get a screen that looks like this. You can go ahead and type in your name and type join. And when you join here, you have the option to join audio by computer, which is what you want to do. So you tap on that. And it's going to ask you, do you want to use your microphone, which you may want to allow if you have a question at some point. I hope you enjoy your programs. See you online.